welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server and we are checking out the Temple Rift. So there was a patch this morning. The Grand Hunt was actually pretty broken. Um, there were a couple badges within the Grand Hunt that would allow you to absolutely obliterate the boss. You, you, your damage was actually almost unchecked with some of the badges that we had in here. Now I set up a team, again, being on the test server, um, it might not be the most ideal team in here, but I'm focusing on two damage heroes. They do allow you to choose the relics in here. You can actually change up their badges, um, seeing exactly what works. Now, interesting enough, there are a couple things such as the tanks have different relics. So Arthur is a tank and Albedo is a tank. Um, they have an entirely different relic set. So I'm not sure if this is going to be the relic. Then, of course, we have two mages. The mages themselves have two different relic sets. Um, and it's kind of interesting to see the relics that they have on here because some of these like when slaying two targets, critical rate, um, critical block rate goes up. Well, it's single target here. So I'm not sure if overall in the stats, I went with the Oracle Stone. That way energy recovery is increased by 10%. Within this formation, since they have to be placed on the front line, we can actually put Arthur back here. Arthur will run up or we can do the same with Albedo. Um, that way we are getting the aura from the top heroes or from those front heroes. Even here um, with Scarlet, Scarlet has a couple ones. Again, this three seconds after the wielder slays a target, there are no targets to actually kill. The boss you will not kill. Um, there's a shield when they get damaged. Again, not really ideal with the badges that they're putting in here. I'm not sure if before the patch dropped that this was actually... Um, different that, that it was a little bit different so again not sure exactly which ones to kind of put in here at this point um we played with a couple different relics you do have five chances as you can see right here we have four more free challenges then of course we can spend diamonds to reset this but i'm going to see exactly what it looks like see what the boss looks like because the boss does have a legendary relic right there boom so we got everyone in the aura which is good we got the twins, of course, for the super cycle, hoping to keep Scarlet up. I'm not sure if um, having a hero like Rosaline might make a difference in here. Um, th there's, I tried to look online and see kind of what, what team comps work in here. I feel like Ainz is not going to be the optimal in here to really maximize the damage. So earlier they were running, um, actually, they were running... Um, Gwen. So Gwen was run in a couple different formations. Then they went ahead and did the nerf. Um, the nerf, of course, changed it up considerably to the teams that we are running in here. On the global servers, this is not up yet. Right now, it is just the test server that we see this up. But the damage, guys, you can see the enrage is ticking away. We want to maximize our damage in here. Same with the Cursed Realm and the Twisted Realm. Um, the more you're maximizing the damage, so there is a new record. Damage 240 plus 3, so we are at 239. Grand Hunt Rewards, guys, they give you a lot. We want to try to maximize our damage getting to the point of picking up all of this loot. But see, collecting them all, we got 8 chests in total. Looking at our leaderboard, now this, again, was updated after Scarlet Grez, which kind of stinks looking at the team right here. Um, we can copy the formation, but... Scarlet Grez, I mean, this is the, the perfect Twisted Realm formation that we've seen kind of time and time again. I thought maybe they would do a little bit different with the bosses, possibly change up a couple things in here. Um, but it looks like, unfortunately, they did not. So these two are going to be the, the prime ones. Baden, I do not have built out, I don't think, really at all. Um, no, he, he's right there. So I'm going to drop out Baden. Mortis works regardless of where he is built. So even having Mortis built or not built up as high will still work as well. Um, Hodgkin can provide some buffing in there. Um, <coughs> Silas can do the same. Silas can actually um, buff up a little bit. We also do have Estrella, a couple other heroes. Rain, if we had her built out a little bit further, um, just allowing a little bit of more survivability and a little bit of buffing. So I'm hoping you have three to... Oh, I didn't, I, I pressed fight. I thought that was canceled. Um, it says we're missing badges, which of course we are. We'll just go ahead and see what the damage comes up. Look at that. So we went to 188 guys. So 187. Let's see what badges we got on here. So here, of course, master of all, each time an entity is summoned, the wielder is granted 40 energy, which is awesome. Cause of course, Grez is going to summon like mad. And here again, we got the shielding relic in here. I'm not a big fan of it. 
Um, within here, we have the hammer, we have divine mercy. So when they are healed, they give 70 more energy points. And then of course here, when healing allies, if an ally belongs to the same faction, attack rating will be increased, which means if he heals Grez, that is going to trigger that effect. Again, call to action. This one is not gonna make a big difference. Curse breaker, rebounded on the damage. And then when it triggers an ultimate cooldown, other cooldowns are reduced by one. You know what, we can put the cape on there. And then of course this one again, they're not belonging in the same faction. We have no more celestial heroes here, so we can actually change this one up as well. We'll go to, let's go to Divine Mercy. We'll run it this way. Let's see where we do, or how well we do um, within the formation. Grand Hunt again, it, it seems like it's going to be the Twisted Realm formations. Like we've seen, the Scarlet Grez is super effective, guys. Um, a lot of players will run Rosaline in here. Um, I, I chose Silas this time. I think I'm going to switch to Rosaline, see exactly where we land within the within here um big thing of course guys silas provides a pretty solid attack buff in here which i do like I, I like the ability to have the attack buff but i think getting the ultimate abilities of scarlet off faster could make a big big difference within here because she just crushes damage guys it's kind of crazy um the amount of damage that she can put out in such a short time in rage timer all the way up to 127 already and she kind of usually kills herself out. So even there, guys, the last battle was significantly higher, which of course we ran Silas in here. Um, that is the RNG factor. Guys, we, we see this with all of these events. Um, there is a really, really big RNG factor um, within here. Now, if Scarlet does the ultimate ability and it hits the enemy, absolutely awesome. It will work incredibly well. If Scarlet does an ultimate ability and it hits our heroes, we're pretty much dead. When the wielder's ultimate ability is, is used, allies become inspired, gaining physical pierce and magical pierce. That is possibly going to boost up the damage, hopefully breaking the new or the old uh, record where we are. Because now, guys, essentially with Scarlet, we are doubling up on the ultimate abilities. And of course, they're going to have the big attack buff when we we get the buff from Rosaline. Um, so when Rosaline alts, giving Scarlet the ability to alt, it's gonna continue and kind of create this super cycle. You can see the damage right there, guys. Incredible. It is absolutely incredible using these two together. And look at the Enrage Timer. It just, it racks up the Enrage Timer. If one of these bolts at this point go astray, um, the target's dead. The, the target is absolutely dead, as you can see right there, guys. 6.4, which is awesome. That takes us to 147, which means on the Grand Hunt, we are going to pick up our last two chests. So we get 10 chests out of here. So definitely good with the loot in here. Um, 147, I'm not sure exactly where that is going to, to take us um, or what the rewards are going to look like right now. Top 200, 20 of our time emblems. I would absolutely love to stay here, guys. When you start even getting in the top 50, again, this is on the test server. Um, you can see not really a big difference even between those two. What is the difference? We got 50 there. We got 2,000 poke coins and 50 of our engraving mats. So that is the Grand Hunt round one. Now round two, guys, of course, is going to come in a few days. I think we have a month. We have a month before the second boss. But of course, this is going to rely on two teams, then the boss, then we get further and further as we progress in here. There is the Grand Hunt Assimilation Frame, which is very cool. But then it goes to five total teams, guys. Then, of course, right here, the Continuum Stalker has a huge, huge buff. So very excited, guys. 147, I cannot wait until he is up on the global servers. Um, make sure you're building out those teams, not only in the Cursed Realm, but in the Twisted Realm. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.